Good morning, dear children. Welcome to the maths class of standard 3. Today, we are going to revise the chapter numbers. So, we already completed this chapter and today we are going to revise the concepts we already discussed in this chapter. So, in this chapter, first we learned about count by thousands. Okay. And that is uh, the number from 1000 to 9999 we learn in this chapter. Isn't it? Okay. So, children, can you tell me which is the smallest four digit number? Yes, 1000. 1000 is the smallest four digit number. Now, which is the largest four digit number? That is 9999. 99 that is 9999 four nines this is the largest four digit number now what is place value children yes to find out the place value of a number you have to multiply a digit with the value of its place in the number for example if I am taking the number 326, then the place value of 3. How to find out the place value of 3? And we know then in the number 326, 300 to 20. That is 20 plus 6. This is the number, right? So, the place value of 3, that means the number 3 is in hundreds place, isn't it? So, you can multiply the digit 3 with 100. Okay, the value of its place, that is 100. So, 3 into 100, 300. So, the place value of 3 is 300. Got it? Now, how we can write the place value of 2? That is 2 into, and what, what is the position of 2 in place value chart? 2 in tens place, isn't it? So, you can multiply it with 10. So, 2 into 10, 20. So, 20 is the place value of 2. Got it? So, this way you can write the place values. Now, we can write numbers in their expanded form using place values. Okay? And what is expanded form? Writing the number... As the sum of its place value of each digit. For example, 326, that number, we know place value of 3 is 300, place value of 2 is 20 and place value of 6 is 6, right? And if you are putting a plus symbol between these all, you will get the expanded form. Okay, so expanded form of 326 is equal to 300 plus 20 plus 6. Okay. And for a bigger number, 4 digit number, if you are taking a 4 digit number, then uh, 4,375. 4, 4,375. How to write? 4, 3, 7, 5. 4,375. You can expand this number as 4000 plus 300 plus 70 plus 5. Got it? This is the way to expand that number. Now, that is, we write a number as the sum of place values of its digits. This form of writing a number is called its expanded form. What is expanded form? We write the number as the sum of the place values of its digits. This form of writing a number is called its expanded form. Clear children? Study the questions based on these all topics. Okay. Now, after this we learned about the comparison of four digit numbers. Right. And now we know how to compare the numbers. Right. Uh, to compare the numbers, we are using the symbols less than, greater than or equal to. These are the symbols we are used to compare two numbers. Okay. 
and you always remember the mouth of the symbol will always open towards the larger number okay now if two numbers are given you to compare when first you check and find out a number with more number of digit is always greater okay a number with more number of digits is always greater for example 36 and uh, 426 tell me children which is the greater number yes 426 will be greater because 26 is having only two digits but 426 is having three digits in it so a number with more number of digits is always greater so remember a three digit number is always greater than a two digit number and a four digit number is always greater than a three digit number and two digit number got it okay so after this comparison we learn to arrange the numbers in order isn't it and we learn the ascending and descending order okay so to arrange the number in ascending order means arranging the number in ascending order means arranging from the smallest to the largest that is an increasing order that is smaller number first then after that you can put the larger larger like that okay so arranging the number from smallest to the largest is called ascending order and arranging the number from largest to the smallest is called descending order okay children the questions of these all types are very important everyone study well okay now after ascending and descending order we learn to form the numbers by using given digits isn't it uh, we know if some digits are given for example 3 2 1 7 if these digits are given you have to form the smallest and largest numbers so how we can do that yes there is an easy way to get the smallest number uh, small uh, to get the largest number or to form the largest number you can arrange the given digits in descending order okay then you will get the largest number now and you can arrange the same digits in ascending order to get the smallest number which we can make by using that given digits okay always remember to get the largest one arrange in descending to get the smallest number arrange in ascending and one thing you have to remember we cannot start a number with zero so if zero is given in your question as a digit then you have to put the uh, when you are making the smallest number you have to put the zero to the second position and change the second position number to the first position okay so always remember the numbers we cannot start with zero so when you are making the smallest number you remember that got it children okay so these all are the topics we learned in this chapter so everyone go through this all very well and everyone do the questions with this topic so dear children everyone study this all well and be ready for your exams okay i'm winding up for today thank you